this is Lizzie, and today I have a fun holiday project to share. I'll be making some simple felt coasters that would be great to add to your own holiday decor, or even to give away as little handmade gifts. I'll also be showing you how to make a cute 3x3 box that is perfect for packaging up these coasters. So here are two examples of coasters I've made in the past. This is really such a simple project that it would be easy to whip up a set for whatever occasion you may need it for. Basically all you need is some felt and circle dies. I'll be using one of the medium circles for this project. I'll also be using Finley's ABCs to spell out some holiday words on the coasters. And then I needed to fill in some of the blank space on the coasters, so I picked a star die. I found that in the Spooktacular stamp set. And actually I had already taken it out of the packaging. But you could look for any other small filler die. There are a lot I'm sure that you could find in your other set, so you wouldn't necessarily have to have this set. And then for the packaging, I'll be using one of the tag dies. And I'll be using this snowy border die from the Let It Snow stamp set. I'll also be using the Snow Day paper pack. It was the color inspiration for my coasters. I'll pick one of the tags to decorate the box with in the end. And then I will also use some silver sparkle lawn trimmings, which coordinate with the packaging. And then the last thing that you need is some glossy accents or any other strong adhesive. Okay, so to start, I'll be using the circle die. I'll be cutting out eight circles from this blue felt. They'll be the front and the back of the coasters. And I'm just running the circle through my die cutting machine a couple times because the felt is pretty thick and I want it to cut through nicely. So I have eight circles and I'll be setting four aside. Those will be the back. And then I can start working on the front of the coasters. So I'm gonna start by spelling out my first holiday word. I'm spelling out Noel. And I'm just arranging them on the felt. How I like them. I sort of wanted the letters to be offset a little bit. The Finley's ABCs are kind of a whimsical uh, print so I just thought they would look nice offset. And then I have my star die that I can also run through. And again I'll just run that through a couple times just to make sure everything is nicely cut through. And then I can pull out all the die cuts. And so I'm just going to set all those pieces that I die cut aside. I'll need to save the inside of the letters, like the O. I'll need to save that in the end when I finally assemble everything. So I'll just go ahead and set that aside and then I'll be using the star die again to run that through so that I can get three stars total just for a nice balanced look. So the next word I wanted to spell out was peace, and it does have two E's, so I just picked another letter to serve as a placeholder that was roughly the same width as the B, and then I could properly space my letters, run that through, and then I'll be able to place that E where it should be, and everything again will be nicely spaced. So just like the word peace, jolly has two L's, but it's in the middle, so I picked the T die, which was about the same width as the L, just put it in place as a placeholder, and then took it off before running it through my Big Shot, and then I can take out all those letters and then reposition the L so that, again, everything is nicely spaced.
Okay, so here you can see all the tops of the coasters, finished cutting out all the letters and the stars out of them. I'll go ahead and set them aside for now, and then the next thing I'll start working on is cutting out all the letters out of some red felt. And the last thing I need to do is cut out 12 of these stars out of some white felt. Okay, so now everything is die cut. This is my favorite part, the assembly part. I'm going to go ahead and push those letters into the negative space of the top of the coaster. And then I will find the corresponding letter and use the inside to fill it in, just like that O. And then I'll also get the white stars and fill them in. And then the top of the coaster is all assembled. So now I can go ahead and glue everything down. I'm gonna use some glossy accents, which is a nice, strong adhesive. I'll just cover the back of the coaster. And then I will carefully lay the top down and squish it into place. And I'll use the acrylic block just to make sure everything is nicely pressed down. It's a nice flat surface on top. Okay, so here are the four finished holiday coasters. You can see they were super easy to make. You could easily make a ton of these in a short amount of time, especially if you do it assembly style like we just did it. So I'll go ahead and set those coasters aside and we can start working on the next part of the project. So if you wanted to give away a set of coasters as a gift, this little 3x3 box is the perfect size for packaging these coasters up. You're going to start with a 6x9 piece of paper and score along the edges. On the long side you'll score at the 1, 4, 5, and 8 inch mark. And on this short edge you'll score at the half inch, 1.5, 4.5, and 5.5 inch mark. And then after everything's scored you'll see I cut some of the pieces off. You can see the pieces that I removed. And I'm also going to be cutting a sliver off of these edges so that the box will fold nicely into itself. And the last thing I need to do to get the box ready is I'm going to be rounding this top corner. It's going to be the top flap of the box, which will show it's just a nice finishing touch, but you could definitely skip this step if you wanted to. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I flipped the box over, so this is the top side of the box that we'll be showing. And I'm using the stamp set, the snowy border stamp set and just decorating the outside of the box. So after that ink is all dry, I'm gonna go ahead and score along the score lines. And I realized at this point I should have cut off that long rectangle right there, so I will do that right now. So now I'm just going to finish using my bone folder to crease all of the edges so that the box is nice and easy to fold up on itself. And I'll be using this strong adhesive to 
uh, glue the inside flaps that will be on the inside of the box and you can see I'll just fit the corners in, glue everything down, and then fold those top panels in and there you can see how to assemble the box. So I just have a few finishing touches to finish up the packaging and I decided on the red tag which I went ahead and used the tag die to die cut and then I found a piece of the pattern paper that was that same sort of light blue color so I'll cut a reinforcer out of that and then glue it onto the tag. So here you can see the finished four coasters and they fit nicely into the box. I can go ahead and fold that box and then wrap it up. And here you have the finished package all ready to give somebody for the holidays. I hope you enjoyed this video on making these simple felt coasters and cute 3x3 box to package them up. Thanks so much for watching! See you next time!